Hey there guys and welcome back to Poke Idol Festival, a sacred gold idol lock. We are here as we were last time in Blackthorn City. In between episodes I did a little bit of training up. You can see we have everybody up to level 57. I had to get Sakurame up to 57, they were still at 55. Um, I went back to the move deleter in Cyanwood and I made Pearl forget all the HM moves she learned last time. I also made Hedwig forget Fly. Because, honestly, she is not a good physical attacker, and I regretted teaching her fly not long after I taught it to her. So, now she has air, sl air slash, extrasensory, and hyper beam as her <laughs> offensive moves. Yes, hyper beam again. Because if Pearl's not gonna have it, then who will? <laughs> um, actually, she's, she's doing very well with the hyper beam. I'm, I'm quite glad. Hopefully we'll get to see a bit of Hedwig this episode. Maybe not against the gym leader herself. Because I'm still a little sh uh, shaky on exactly how useful she is. Um, but I actually do kind of want to use the rest of Sakurame on the gym as well. Hang on, let me just switch the screens again. Particularly I want to use Aoi. Now you'd think this would be a bad idea because even though Aoi has Dragon Pulse and now I've taught her Ice Beam as well uh, for, that, for the purposes of this gym. Even though she has two good moves against most of the Pokemon in this gym. Um... You'd think that she herself would be weak, because she is also a dragon. Weak to dragon, I know. Thing about Aoi though is she does have some really solid stats all around, especially her defense and special defense. Um, and her special attack is quite good as well, despite having a lowered nature for it. It's even higher than, I think, Pearl's special attack. I'd have to double check that. Um, yeah, she has higher special attack than Pearl and Umi, who I just also checked and has 126 special attack. So she's got our highest special attack, and she's got stab moves and good defenses on both physical and special fronts. Um, and I think even with being weak to dragon, she would still have a really good chance, especially if she can, like, Oko a bunch of things. Um, and on that front, I think what I'm going to do, it, especially for the gym leader, is my plan, I don't know if this will work or not, but what I plan to do is, I think I will lead off with Hedwig, but just to put up a reflect so that she can, like, survive any poten potential outrages or something, then switch immediately back into Aoi and have her set up a bunch of X items. I think X items. I was thinking Dragon Dance or X items, but I think uh, what I want to do is set up some extra special defense um, and maybe some extra special attack? Probably mostly special defense. Maybe some speed as well. And then once she's set up and like healed off a few times, then I can start using Dragon Pulse. And because Aoi has the metronome, which helps a move increase in power the more times you use it, my plan is basically to Dragon Pulse until we win. <laughs> Uh, the only Pokemon that might not work as well against is the Gyarados, which is not weak to dragon. Um, but I hope by the time the Gyarados comes out that we've used enough metronome, dragon pulses, uh, or maybe X items, I don't know, <laughs> in order to have enough special attack to just take it out anyway. If not one, then maybe two hits. Okay. That could be risky. And it, it is risky. Like, the other option is to use Umi who does have better physical defense, but not as good a special defense. But she doesn't have as many weaknesses. Problem is she's still weak to dragon, which is the main worry. And again, her special attack isn't quite as high, so I would hope that Aoi would have an easier time one-hit KOing things, or two-hit KOing things. Um, also, Sakurame in general is a more specially oriented team, like it's got Hedwig and Aoi, who are both specially based, and Noodle, who is like nominally physical but really relies mostly on status. Uh, whereas Sharp Notes is Umi is the special attacker, but her support members Aaliyah and Amethyst are both are both physical, and that's not good because several Pokemon on the gym leader's team have Intimidate as their ability. Um. I do want them as my backup unit, though, because if anything really bad happens to Sakurame and my strategy doesn't pay off, um, then I do still think they're pretty solid as a backup choice. Uh, the only unit I don't really want in there at all right now is uh, is Gem Burst, because I think 
While Pearl probably stands a pretty good chance in the gym, I don't feel as confident about Symphonia, and especially not Ruby. Especially since I know some of the dragons in the gym carry Fire Blast. So, and I don't know exactly which ones do, so I'd rather not risk it with them. <laughs> okay, um, I guess we don't really have to do the gym right away, but I kind of want to. Just to get it out of the way, <laughs> and then do our encounters afterwards. Um, and if, I don't know, maybe if something really bad happens in the gym, we'll stop midway and do our encounters. But I would hope not. I don't know. I think we should just head in and do it. YOLO Swagger, you only live once! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Yo, champ in the making? Jim has unstable footing. Oh, okay, so <laughs> we can't have our little Pokemon following sprites because they couldn't figure out how to make it work with this part of the game, I guess. Um, hang on. Which... What is this? Okay, so that goes that way. And that okay, so that Okay, I see your game. I see your game, Jim. <laughs> Alrighty, so Hedwig's out. So we should at least get some screen time for Hedwig. She will have like a little bit at the beginning of the gym leader battle. But I want her to have some screen time now, because I feel like we really haven't seen much of her. And I really don't I don't take many risks with her, because that she doesn't have as much obvious utility as Aoi or Noodle. So I want her to be able to shine when she can. So let's see how much an Air Slash will do against a Dratini. I hope, I would hope it would be a one hit KO. And it is! <laughs> Way to prove me right, Hedwig. Speaking of Hedwig, I had a wonderful night last night. Um, Hedwig. Um, as I said, is named not only for Hedwig the Owl from the Harry Potter franchise, but also for Hedwig of the movie Hedwig and the Angry Inch. And uh, last night I went to a quote-along screening of Hedwig and the Angry Inch at my local independent theater. And it was the, the best and gayest time I've had in a long time. It was absolutely wonderful. And it was the perfect perfect spirit lifter for the night, especially in light of unfortunate recent events, which I will not be touching on because this is a series that takes you away from your problems for a while, so I won't bring it down too much. Um, but yeah, it was a wonderful night, and I'm so glad I went. I didn't think that movie had much of- oh, that's a hydro pump. Oh, jeez. Uh, I was not expecting that. I'm glad that missed. Uh, but anyways, um, I didn't think that the movie had that much of a cult following, that it would be able to sustain a quote-along, like a Monty Python and the Holy Grail style quote-along, or something like that. Because I really have never met anyone who is as into that movie as me, unless they're like, well, just part of the LGBTQ community. Um, and I guess that is where the much of the base of the support of that movie comes from. Now I'm just talking about Hedwig and the Angry Inch, and I'm not actually playing Pokemon. Um, but even within the LGBTQ community, if it, it feels like stuff like the Rocky Horror Picture Show and whatnot is a lot more well-known. I guess that's because Rocky Horror or something like Rocky Horror, we should probably not be out against dra a Dragonair with Hedwig right now. Let's maybe go to Noodle for a bit. Save, save Aoi for the main event. Um, anyways, yeah, something like the Rocky Horror Picture so Show is a little bit lighter, and more fun, and very much more quotable. Like, there's a quote that everyone remembers from that movie, every other line it's, it feels like. Uh, let's get some Toxic going. Try to survive that dragon rush. Eh. Uh, whereas Hedwig and the Angry Inch is quotable, but it's also, um, in between all the comedy, kind of a little bit more serious. Oh yes, I forgot I taught Noodle Protect, by the way, to completely veer off subjects. Um, because I was looking for TMs to teach to people, and I saw it in the shop, and I was like, how come I don't have Protect yet? I could probably teach that to someone. And of course, uh, Toxic Protect is a staple strategy in competitive, so I figured, well, Encore has been great, but sometimes it's a little unpredictable because Noodle's a bit slower than her opponents a lot of the time. Um, so Protect is probably a little more reliable. Anyways, um, let's do some strength. Some strength! Okay. But anyways, yes. Hedwig is a comedy, but it's a little bit of a- a little bit of a dark comedy in some places. 
Um, and it, it tackles some serious subject matter, so it's not as as instantly like, oh my god, this is so crazy, you guys, like uh, a movie like uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, or Rocky Horror, or even The Princess Bride, or something like that, which I think has had a screening like that in my city. Um, but yeah, I was really happy that enough people knew the movie and could quote along with it for the parts that you can quote along with. And everybody sang along with the songs, and got up and danced in some parts, and, and raised their hands during the last song of the movie, and it was beautiful. Um, okay, I'm probably done talking about this at this point, so we can actually finish this battle and make sure Noodle doesn't die. But I, I just wanted to talk about that because it was such a good night, and I'm so glad I went out. <laughs> so there. And uh, that's that's part of why I'm so glad we have a Pokemon named after named after Hedwig. Um, Gabite. Let's bring Aoi out. I think Noodle's had a bit of a beating from that Dragonair. Even though if Noodle hasn't really gone too down in HP. Um, so let's just see how effective our Dragon Pulse is at the moment. Probably a good baseline to have. Will it Oko? It does Oko. It kind of went down a little slower than I wanted it, though. So, hmm. I did go out and buy a bunch more X items, by the way. I think I have, what is it, like five of each one right now? Uh, let's see. Yeah, five of each one. I even got a couple of dire hits, which actually that might not be a bad idea either, to get a few more crits in. Um, yeah, I'm just really hoping that she doesn't have a huge problem with the dragon air at the start. <laughs> like that's what the reflect I'm hoping will help with. Um, because the the dragon air, I again I was watching Shady's playthrough, but that didn't really help this time around. Help me figure out what the gym leader uses because um, oh geez, which way are we going? Uh, this way? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I think it's like that, I don't like that. Okay, so yes, um, I was watching Shady's playthrough of the gym leader, and <laughs> his playthrough didn't help, because his team was so good against the gym leader that none of them really got to use their moves. So I had to cross-reference with, I think, Patters' playthrough of Sacred Gold, and I still didn't get much out of that. But I think the one move I did see Dragonair use was Outrage. So I know that it's a physical move, I have to watch out for Outrage, and hopefully Reflect will help with survivability on that front. Um, speaking of which, um, maybe- oh wait, this thing could have a rock move, maybe we should switch. Um, although ground versus rock is not a good idea either, probably. Maybe we should just go with it. Hmm. Maybe this is a good opportunity to show you how strong Hyper Beam is. <laughs> there we go! Nice and Hyper Beam! Nice and Hyper Beam! Although we'll probably have to switch after this, just so that Hedwig doesn't have to worry about recharging. Hey, Altaria! That's a nice excuse to have an Altaria versus Altaria fight. Show you that my Cloudbird is better than your Cloudbird. Alrighty. Um, I want to save a few Dragon Pulses for... Yeah, cause this thing is four times weak to ice anyway, so let's, let's use the Ice Beam. No problem whatsoever! Alrighty, um, if there's any more trainers, I think we will probably montage past them at this point, because I think I need a drink of water <laughs> anyway. Just a moment. There we go. <laughs> Had my water. I don't want to run my voice out too fast. And I think I'm running out of things to say anyway, so might as well just montage through the rest of this and hope that there's no big problems. There we go, that was a shorter trip than I thought it would be. Okay, so... I think, yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Always good up front here. And we should be good to... Well, I hope we're good to take on Claire anyway. Yeah, we're totally ready. Don't be a... Don't be a wussy about this. Just... Just do it! Just fight this last gym leader and be over with it with her cool outfit. Oh my god, she looks really cool. 
I really like her, her hair and her costume and everything. She could be a freaking idol in her own right. I want to see Claire's live show. <laughs> okay, um... Oh, shoot, I was gonna link with Hedwig, though! Oh, no! Oh, I forgot! Ah, oh, shoot! Oh! Um... That's bad. Okay, um... Shoot! Um... Well, let's see here. I guess I can just start using X items. If I was worried about Outrage, maybe I should do some X Defend. I don't know. I don't really want to waste a whole lot of time on physical defense, maybe, though. I, I'm, I'm gonna need it anyway. So just do it. Thunder Wave! That I was not expecting. At least we had the full heals, but that's kind of annoying. At least I'm glad you didn't hit me, so I can use another X Defend, and that basically replicates having Reflect. Dragon Pulse, okay. I probably should have guessed you'd have Dragon Pulse. Ouch, ouch, that does like half. Ooh, that is way more than I wanted it to. Well, I guess it's time to pile on the special defense then. And then heal right after this and hope that it doesn't get a crit. Oh, I really hope it doesn't get a crit. Oh, please don't get a crit. Okay, good. Wow, that special defense X was really good. Um, but you definitely need a heal. Where's my Moo Moo Milk? Oh, I am kind of running low on Moo Moo Milk. And Aoi has lots of HP to heal through. Okay. Yeah, the Moo Moo Milk doesn't even heal it all up anymore. Hmm. Well, at least now... Okay, so we can heal with a Lemonade. We can heal that off with the Lemonade. And then do another special defense. And then I think that helps mitigate the Dragon Pulse pretty well. Okay. Yeah, that's like doing about a third or so now, so that's not too bad. And it'll probably do even better with another one on top of that. Okay. I feel like this is slightly cheap, but I also feel like nobody uses X items in uh, in Pokemon runs. So, I, <laughs> I don't know. I still kind of feel like I'm playing outside the box at least. So that's kind of fun. Okay, Moo Moo Milk that off. Although even after two, that feels like... It felt like diminishing returns there. It didn't feel like that cut down as much as the first one did. I guess that's just how the math works out. Ooh! Ooh! Oh no! No! Wow! That... That is the crit. That is the crit. Oh jeez. Oh god. Let's hope that that doesn't come again. Maybe we should take this thing out sooner than later. Oh boy. Oh dear. Please don't crit again. Please don't crit again. Okay, thank you. Alright, I think after this lemonade, I think... Well, you know, I, I do want a chance at least getting one special attack raise. Because I do want a little extra insurance going forward. Or maybe one more special defense raise. Because the metronome is going to raise our special attack at least. Or, well, it's going to raise the attack of Dragon Pulse anyway. Oh wait, why am I going to Pokeballs? I guess I just really want a Dragonair. Uh, let's do one more special defense. Okay. Okay, that's a little more manageable. One more- now we can do one more Lemonade, and then... Well, I guess now that it's more manageable, maybe I can do a special attack? <laughs> I don't know. I'm really afraid of the rest of the team, so I want to be prepared. Okay. Ooh, a speed might be good too. Uh, let's do one speed and one special attack. <laughs> I'm just making all the excuses to stall, <laughs> to stall this out. Ooh, maybe it's out of Dragon Pulse. We've probably gone through more than 10 turns at this point, so that's not too bad if we have. <laughs> well, good. That means we don't have to worry so much as we get all the rest of our items together. Because Fire Blast could miss too. Does this thing not even have Outrage? Is it the other one? I should have guessed they'd have different movesets. Well, good. We'll just make Aoi this gigantic powerhouse and keep pumping her full of all the- all the idle steroids. <laughs> and just make her unstoppable. Uh, what else? I guess another... X Defend wouldn't- wouldn't hurt? Because there are going to be physical attacking Pokemon later. And 
now we don't have to worry about a, a crit from Dragon Pulse anymore, too. We can just set up all we want. Sure, let's double our speed. Just get everything up to plus two. Why not? We can afford to at this point. I guess we re yeah, we didn't even really need uh, Reflect to help us out in that case. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad we could still play this safe. And playing it safe is what I want to do at this point, because I am really not in the mood to lose anyone else. Not just because it would be sad, but also because I'm getting freaking tired of grinding! <laughs> I really hate having to grind so much in between episodes. Oh, man. Okay. So we've gone through three each of these. That should be pretty good. And let's throw on our dire hit, which will stay active until Aoi switches out, which hopefully we won't have to do. There we go. Okay, I think we're good now. So let's heal off that paralysis and then go for it. I guess we should have healed our HP first. Because now if we heal our HP, it's probably going to paralyze us again. Oh well, we'll deal with it. This is so exciting, I know, but just, just just you wait. We'll get through this. Yeah, there, there's the thunder wave. We should be able to Oko after this, though, so it shouldn't matter. Let's get that off and dealt with. There we go. So glad, so glad we decided to do this. Because now, I think we should be good to Dragon Pulse until we win! Nicely done. Go away, dragon hair. I know there's another one of you still coming, but go away you, that specific one. <laughs> oh, hello, speaking of you. The one that I know has outrage. Let's not deal with that. Let's just dragon pulse you away. Go away. <laughs> with an even strong- and a crit to boot. There we go, there's that dire hit working. Not that we needed the crit at this point. And the level 58 for added stats. That's like an instant stat raise, too. Let's see if it... Salamence, I wonder if we can. Okay, so. Intimidate, we don't have to worry about. That's the reason we brought Aoi in here to begin with. Um, but I really still hope, actually, she can one-hit KO the Salamence, because I'm not sure. Yes! Okay, good. I know Salamence can be bulky. <laughs> okay, good. Those boosts were very much worth it. And Altaria. I believe we have heard we can handle our Altaria. Oh boy. Come on, just keep dragon pulsing. Keep dragon pulsing! You are shining so brightly right now, Owie. The stage lights are blue in your honor as you laser beam your way to victory. Kingdra. I think this should still be fine as well. It's just the Gyarados that's the worry, uh, since it's not weak to dragon pulse. But now we've used Metronome a bunch. So hopefully that, in combination with the X special, still makes it work. And we even took out the King Drain one hit. Oh my god, Aoi, you are doing so, so well right now. So well. This is your perfect solo live. Now if we can- if we want to KO this Gyarados, I will be very, very impressed with you. Even if you don't, I think you can still handle it pretty well. We might not even need it, have needed all those, um, all those physical X defense in that case. Ah, oh, you did it! Good job! Oh, Owie, thank you so much! You beat Claire single-handedly with the help of idle steroids, but still, you still did it on your own! Oh, thank you so much! That went so well. I, that could not have gone better. Oh, I'm so glad that we didn't lose anybody. I'm so glad I won't have to grind. <laughs> Oh, uh, you still won't concede this, though, because you are too prideful of your idol championship. <laughs> Take the Dragon Master Challenge, go to the Dragon's Den, prove that you're your lazy idol ideals or whatever. I don't have lazy ideals. I just <laughs> have lazy battle item using strats. Maybe that's why she's so mad. She's, she's calling hacks. She's calling hacks on my steroids, you guys. Oh, shoot, what happened? Oh, this- oh, this- wait, I think the screen cut out. This has happened before, just a moment. There we go, much better. Okay! 
yeah, now I think we can, um, we can, yeah, we can go to the, the Dragon's Den and get an encounter in there and call it a day, I guess. Well, I guess we can get our, well, how far in we are we? How, how long have we been recording? About half an hour. I probably should call it there because I always do lose track of how long I've been recording. Um, so yeah, next time we will go into the Dragon's Den and we will get our encounter in there and we will also get our next encounters on the following route and in the Dark Cave. And then maybe after that we'll, <laughs> we'll actually explore the city. I just realized we haven't explored the freaking city yet. So we will do all that calm stuff now that we've got our final badge. Next time on Poke Idol Festival, Sacred Gold Idolock. Whee! Look at her go! And of course, the patrons for this episode of the Idolock who donate at least $4 a month are Barbo TK, Cinder, Dork and Mindy, Elaine G, Hope, the artist formerly known as BootyPebbles.exe, Lisa Price, Liz C, Myron D, Prez Pasca, Ray, Vivian F, Anne Marie at makitori.tumblr.com, Calder Calderson at calliesquest.tumblr.com, Carolyn G, who says you should visit ndp.ca, and Otaku New Podcast at otakunupodcast.com. Thank you all so much again, and I will see you all around later. <laughs>